Oh, welcome to The Calling, a interesting looking side-scrolling game. Let's just go with that and let's just get into it. Readings indicate an opening in the Atlantic. Perhaps this is where he has been hiding all along. Charles Douglas. Du Douglas, not Douglas? Oceanographer and professional diver from MIT. I guess I will give him a visit. I think it's a point and click sort of horror game or atmospheric horror. Apparently there's also these elements where I'm a submarine and I get to shoot things. Boo! Drive the submarine or walk, jump, crouch with WSD, E to get in. Oh, fuck. No. Seaweed. Um, I, I don't think I, I want us to crash, right? Look alive. Charles, Sonar indicated that whatever we're looking for is down here. Let's test the equipment. Will, will it damage me if I touch the walls? No. Well, that's a good sign. Interesting segment, I guess I could say. But what would I be seeing that I need to shoot? Kind of, kind of a funny, kind of a funny gun. Let's let's be honest. There doesn't seem to be anything down here. Try another way. If you're stuck, press E. No, no, thank you. I will not get stuck. And the tunnel seems to be small, too small to use a submarine to get through. Try finding another way. Hmm. Did I blast my way or something? Or am I just too low? Oh! I can leave the submarine. Oh! So, wait, if I if it's too narrow up here, that doesn't mean I have to find another way, but I just have to get out of the sub. Charles over radio. Something doesn't seem to feel right. The water is pitch black. The spotlight is all we have. Stay alert. Press the W key to crouch. Wait, press the W key to crouch? You mean the S key. W is jump. I can double jump as well, but it feels weird. Can I shoot? No, the submarine can still shoot even when I'm out of the submarine. The gap looks too big to jump over. Press E to call back to my submarine. What? What are you talking about? What? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? The... Something doesn't feel right. What? 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 The submarine... What? Did... Did... Was... Is that intentional? The submarine squeezed through there? What? Oh? Oh? Okay, is that part of the mechanics of the game? I'm... I'm... Maybe? It's just... I'm so confused, but sure, let's just go with that. We can call the submarine, and it can squeeze through the tunnels. Ah, the wreck of Santa de Fre. We're on the right path. The Spanish ship from 1702 disappeared in the Atlantic. Only one sailor survived, but he went crazy from what he saw. What is this, an Uncharted game now? Use left click to shoot torpedoes from your submarine. Sonar shows multiple targets ahead. Look at those creatures. I've never seen anything like it. What, what, what creatures? You're seeing something before I'm even seeing it. What? Oh, the octopus. Oh, very spooky, guys. Really spooky. You're dealing with aggressive octopus. Oh god, and they're doing damage to me without even touching me. Fuck off. Why? Oh, at least I'm full health now. They they give me back my health. That, that's god. Ooh, is that treasure? Treasure! Get close to the chest and press E to open it. There's an old chest here, I'm gonna to try to open it. Careful with the chest, it might be rigged. Fuck off. Do you hear that? It sounds like an earthquake. We better get out of here. Sure! Looks like an old storage room of the ship has been completely untouched for centuries. This is amazing! Let's shoot it! Not explosive, at least. Hmm. Well, it's, apparently it's amazing, but let's get out of here anyways. I guess we're leaving. Find a different way than you came in. Earthquake caused part of the ship to collapse. Why am I... Was my health back to being shit? Or is it because I'm... Ran oh. Oh, it's, it's lowering not because of the octopus, but because I'm actually hitting things. Oh. So that's why it's taking damage. 
Or wait, now it's replenished? Looks like the ship was ripped apart by something. Le legend has it was sunk by Cthulhu himself! Oh! Do you, what do you mean legends? Cthulhu is fiction! What do you mean legend? What, what timeline is this? Legends say a fictional creature sunk this ship. Oh, okay. Great legend. What, what, are you, what are you reading? I'm gonna tell you about a legend of a fictional character that destroyed a real ship. Oh! Shoot Cthulhu when he swings his fist! You knew he was hiding here all along. This is my life's mission. You can't stop me? What? No, seriously, what? Why is Cthulhu here? I'm shooting little torpedoes at him. Like, like that should do anything to him. And he only gets injurable when he shakes his fist. Like a grumpy old man. These goddamn whippersnappers fucking going in my cave system. Fucking goddamn, get the fuck out of here. And, and then I, I killed Cthulhu. Wow! I'm the greatest game ever, 10 out of 10. I, I was expecting more. Uh, I'm not going to rip into it too much, but I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from. Legends say Cthulhu. There's Cthulhu. Shoot torpedoes at him. <laughs> oh, you can't make that stuff up. The legends say about the Cthulhu who destroyed a ship like he's a fucking kraken. And then he's uh, Cthulhu stuck in, you know, this submerged caves under a ship. He's just, he's just stuck there. You know, an elder god is stuck underwater. He's stuck in a wall like he's a Metroid boss fight. Can't even remember the Metroid boss fight that does that. Uh, Kremli? Kremli? Some, some fat oversized lizard with spikes out of his chest? I, I, I can't remember his name. You guys would probably post down in the comments. But either way, entertaining game because of the commentary and the dialogue but in terms of a game itself i mean it is part of the game jam so they would do it's one of those other things that are made in a short time like 48 hours potentially so for a time restraint i i guess you could say decently put together but there's it's not really a story I don't know, it's just, it's, it's missing something that makes it from being an incomplete concept to me and being a full game. Like, when I think of Game Jam, I think games like, um, that Chef game. I'm, I have to remember it now. And maybe those who haven't watched it, you guys should go check it out what I mean by Game Jam. Let me, let me double check to, um, oh yeah, it's quick. Wait, it's called Late Night Chef. If you have not seen Late Night Chef, I recommend watching my gameplay of Late Night Chef. I was like one of the only goddamn people to play it, but it was a game jam about uh, cooking, uh, like being a chef at a, like, let's say like a, just a barbecue, like a fast food joint, and it has had horror elements into it. I love that as a game jam, uh, the developers said they were making it into a full goddamn game, but the, apparently they're taking their sweet time. I, I would like if they continued it, but that, that would be what I'd consider a solid game jam, like one where it has a point to it, it has good mechanics, well thought out, it's unique, and it's a solid game experience in itself. But in this, it's just like, it's just, it's, like if I were to make an analogy of how it feels to my brain, it's like, uh, let's say it's like a, uh, a two liter bottle of soda, but it has stab holes all around the bottle. So it leaks out profusely all the time. And a developer will always maybe try to advertise it as a full content. It's a product! But it's leaking out. It, it's not fully patched up and it's, you know, it's not, it's not whole. It's leaking. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of polish. But it's sort of like that. It's a leaky bottle. And it needs a lot to really became, become a sellable product, basically. Maybe not a great analogy but it will work for now but either way i hope you enjoy this game jam game if you did please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button become a subscriber hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos thank you for watching and i hope you too love cthulhu until the next time <clears throat>